your body is hiding junk parts that literally serve no purpose and one might explode. Number 10, wisdom teeth. If you're over 18, there's a good chance a dentist has either yanked your wisdom teeth or warned you that the day is coming. They're like that one uncle, shows up uninvited, causes a ton of pain, and then has to be forcibly removed. Back in the caveman days, we needed them. Raw meat, hard roots, no floss, teeth broke all the time, and wisdom teeth were backups. But now, we've got blenders, smoothies, and DoorDash, yet these teeth still grow and just to ruin your week and cost you two grand. Evolution, what are you doing? Number 9, the appendix. Ah yes. The appendix, a tiny pouch hanging off your intestines. That does basically nothing except sometimes go nuclear. Doctors think it might help with gut bacteria. But you know what also helps with gut bacteria? Yogurt. And yogurt doesn't try to kill you. You can live perfectly fine without your appendix. And if you keep it, just know it's a ticking time bomb. If organs had Yelp reviews, the appendix would be zero stars. Number eight, male nipples. Yep, we're going there. Let's talk about the nipple in the room. Male nipples exist. They don't do anything. They're just there. All embryos start with nipples. Then later, if the body decides we're building a boy, it just keeps them. No milk. No signals. No purpose. But hey, at least piercings need somewhere to go. Number seven, the pomaris longus make a fist. Now, touch your pinky to your thumb. See a tendon pop up in your wrist? That's the pomaris longus. Some people don't even have it. Doesn't matter. And it's left over from when we needed grip strength for climbing. These days... We scroll, we type, we reheat leftovers. Surgeons literally remove this muscle and use it in other surgeries because it's that useless. It's the packing peanut of muscles. Number six, the tailbone. If you've ever fallen hard and landed on your butt, you've met the coccyx, your tailbone. It's the leftover stump from when our ancestors had actual tails. Now, it's just a few fused bones that do nothing except hurt like hell when you fall. And yep, some babies are still born with tiny tails. Doctors just snip them off and move on. Your body. Here's a tail. Science. Nope. Number five. Ear wiggling muscles. Some people can wiggle their ears. Most of us can't. And none of us need to. These little muscles, auricular muscles, helped our ancestors aim their ears at danger. Now... We've got necks. We just turn our heads. Still, those muscles are hanging on like evolutionary leftovers from the time everything wanted to eat us. Number four, goosebumps. Goosebumps. When your skin gets all bumpy because you're cold, scared, or vibing to a great song. Why does it happen? Because we used to have more body hair. Goosebumps made that hair stand up to trap heat or scare off predators. Now, we're basically hairless, so it just looks like your skin's confused. You, I'm cold. Your body, puff up the fur. You, what fur? Number three, the third eyelid. You've got a third eyelid. It's called the plica semilunaris, that little pink thing in the corner of your eye. In some animals, it's a built-in windshield wiper. In us, it just sits there, does nothing, sometimes gets itchy. It's like evolution started building something cool and gave up halfway through. Number two, tonsils. Tonsils, those squishy things at the back of your throat. They're supposed to help fight infection, but mostly they just get infected themselves. Millions of people have them removed and never miss them. They're like biological drama queens, undoing the least, complaining the most. Number one, body hair. And finally, body hair. Not your lashes or brows. We're talking arm hair, leg fuzz, and that one weird shoulder hair that shows up once a year like a horror sequel. It used to keep us warm, help detect bugs, and even attract mates. Now, we have clothes, heaters, and dating apps. Sure, it technically helps regulate temperature, but let's be real. Nobody's surviving winter